Ladies and gentlemen, this randomly just a rare creature is the first thing that I see. All right, eat him alive, my hands. We're gonna take all 100 of his legs and sh and capture. And since we're here, no need to stop killing. Cannibalize each other to your heart's content. Wow, that sounded horrible. But I guess I'm technically not lying either. And now protect the tiny green ones with your lives. I'm kind of like a superhero in this regard. No, stop it. Brit, just hit him off the ant. Man, they killed one of them. Whatever. There should be a successful aphid defense back, which means a daily quest done. Ants, to me, go feast. Daily quests are important because I need that 150 honeydew. Also, there's another one done. All right, thanks for your help, you guys. Bye go home. Bye. I've got to go undercover. There's just a few ways to get honeydew. One of them just happens to involve navigating a labyrinthian honeycomb maze, which weirdly enough was my nickname in high school. Nice. Hi, Mr. Flower. Come with me. We're gonna go chloroform somebody. Hello, unsuspecting victim, which I mean, at this point, you should probably just expect it. This is like the 20th time I've stolen from these guys. <laughs> Honey, I'm home. Honeydew stored successfully. Now let's knock out these ads. Two thousand years later. Stupid quest. Also, as much as it pains me, we're getting rid of an emperor to put in a centipede. Just to make sure my soldier ants are in the right headspace as well. Murder the red ants, mother. There we go. We're ruthless. I've thought of a really good new tactic. I lavender myself so I can get a kind of view of what's going on. I then head into their base and summon all of my troops. And then I can pop out, chrysanthemum everybody. And then if I recruit my soldier ants at a later date, well, now they all show up ready to attack and fight people. And this guy has a bunch of healing butterflies, so not much I can do there, but that's one victory down. I wonder if I even need ants. What if I just lavender, come all the way over here on the right, and then unleash my troops? Because then I think I could chrysanthemum, freeze everybody, and I have a ton of big ant slaying troops just already on my field. I'm at 32% and I've lost one troop. Wow, this is working out much better than I thought it would. <laughs> yeah, screw that ox beetle. Eat him. Tear him from limb from limb. Sweet, sweet victory. I also realized while I'm doing this, I can do a little cheating and buy a strawberry. But Cade, what good does a strawberry do. I hear you, my disembodied voice. Much like how gathering one acorn gives me 490 leaves, the strawberry. Well, this sweet god forgives me everything. And I don't have enough gems. I'm not risking it. Pay to win time. A bunch of gems means I confuse my bombardier to be even more stupidly broken. Hello, level two. It also means I can have my own two-star butterfly. Actually, real quick, 87% chance for a three-star mantis. Oh, I do love gambling. And this is a gamble I win. All right, back to bullying the week. I've kind of become just a major fan of this tactic. Nice little lavender all the way inside. And let's just drop all my creatures in their egg laying chamber. Cause I think I can just get them to go from here. Am I being eaten alive right now? Help, help me. Please, why is this centipede chasing me? Guys, where's my team? <laughs> All right, now that that's done, let's go kill their mother. Oh, I still have my chrysanthemum. Yeah, just use that. Poor idiots got stunned, and now they just gotta sit there paralyzed whilst I eat them alive. Sounds pretty gruesome whenever I say it out loud, but it's necessary. Help! Help me! Please! It's starting to feel like I'm being chased more and more, and I don't like it. What I do like, though, is a three pheromone victory. Absolute domination. Thank you. So I think I've really just figured out the best tactic. I just ban my troops at the beginning. I lavender to hide. Run all the way to the right side. Unleash my troops. Stun flower whenever all of his get close. And then I can recruit my soldier ants over here. It's like a victory every time. Also, I've officially passed the 100 pheromone threshold. So let's just summon a creature to celebrate. I've got a few feeling I've just summoned the most overpowered being in the world. Or it's a praying mantis. Rip him limb from limb. Good work, team. I'll deal the death blow. Now we can go back to battling the big boys. Hello, everyone. Is that a golden creature? Yeah, I'm just gonna use everything I can to make sure that guy dies. Anything that's completely golden has to be way stronger than everything else, so I just, no. Eat him alive. I don't care. Break his legs off. Stab his eyes. Do whatever we have to do. What kind of malarkey is that? Well, the good news is this one isn't golden. It's just very shiny. And yet another victory for the books. I want a golden creature. How do I do that? Oh, I just need 150 gold golden pheromones, which coincidentally I can get if my rank is just a little bit higher. I'm like 200 rank points away. We might be looking at a golden creature in our future. Now I'm gonna shut off all 150 of my soldier ants and I'm gonna put all of them onto getting me resin because I've made a critical mathematical error to no one's surprise. And I'm just gonna need a little bit more. So go ahead and kill every one of these stupid termites. They're simply in my way. So we have to fix that. Go, my worker ants, grab the resin quick. I can only hold them back for so long.
alone. And by me, I mean my 20 soldier ant personal army. <laughs> I think everyone grabbed some, put them back to mushrooms, and now we're withdrawing. Oh no, wait, there's one man left who was slow. Team, you're the most important piece, tiny ant. Guys, quit pushing him. Let him go. <laughs> and now I do believe I just need one more quick win. Wow, this is the first time in a long time there hasn't been a stupidly high amount of creatures up here. Quit chasing me, guys, please eat him. And then eat the rest of his troops. God, my army's good. All right, all my soldier ants here with me in this hallway for a second, because it's pretty simple that if there's never a creature up top, yeah, they're all down there. But once he kills all the soldier ants, I can just chrysanthemum, geranium, and then surprise. All his soldier ants should be attacking my ox beetle, who should have just killed pretty much all of them. This is why you can't keep all of your ants in one tiny spot. But then once all his soldier ants are dead, I can bring mine back in. Eat the rest of his troops alive. There's 39 of you. Nothing is more handy for DPS than a million little pincers biting the butts of my enemy. Oh, sweet triumphant victory. How beautiful you are. Which this means daily quest completed. I completely forgot I get resin from these. Nice. All right, gimme. And now I'm just so close. I think you know what it's time for. Invade, sleep and steal, drop and profit. 1240 honeydew, meaning even stronger ants. And now I think it's time. I'm going to do a little pay to win and get all of those. And now we can all fight the legendary termite king. How this guy fights, I really just have no clue, but apparently I can drink this spit and run away my ants. He's about to attack. Oh, he just charges. Pleh. Get spat on, idiot. This is a major group process, but through nothing but sheer willpower, tenacity, and any other fun adjectives, we will kill this stupid jerk. Keep spitting. Oh, watch out, retreat. I think that's a major blast. That's fine. I can just revive every unit of mine. No stupid termite king is going to be able to take me down. Oh, he's doing his little breath attack again. Get behind him. Now run this way. Up, up, up. And he's doing it again. This has to be cheating. Ref, he's spamming. That has to be against some sort of rule. It's been about three and a half minutes of us just rigorously fighting this guy, but he's finally at like half HP. And luckily I have this pay to win spit skill, which I think is doing a decent amount of damage. Go spit and eat him alive. I don't know what rewards I get out of this or if I even get anything super cool, but it feels fitting. So I figured it out when he just angles his butt like that, he does a crazy tail swipe, but then you can usually spit on him for a bit. And when he starts to do this little thing, his acid reflux is acting up. But if you just hang out on the other side of his face, he doesn't kill you or your ants. And then that's just a simple charge move. So all I have to do is retreat and he doesn't kill anybody. But it looks like we had a bunch of quitters apparently. It's hard to find good soldiers nowadays it seems. Especially when this guy's just so easy to beat. Come on team, 30 seconds left. Everyone eat the yellow jelly bean. Use acid reflux against his acid reflux. It's like the weirdest fighting fire with fire method ever. <laughs> Come on. Home stretch, please, no! My disappointment is immeasurable, but the answer is clear. I need stronger ants.